TV the way it should be. E. TV the way it should. Lori has nothing be. to say. I have lots to say now. I've had three drinks. Hi, Nelson. You look wonderful tonight. You always look wonderful. TV the way it should be. Watch the Flaunted Club TV. Johnson and Michael Misko and Andy Anderson and James St. James and Tishin Stuckey and on and on and on. The list never stops. I have nothing to flaunt except myself. Oh, Mr. Crispy, you've been an inspiration to us all. Definitely. You're very kind. Definitely. I'm very grateful. It's you a know, pleasure to be here. I have read all of his books on how to have a better lifestyle and all this sort of stuff. And I understand it all and I want it all, but it takes a while. You can't do it overnight. No, you have to work it. It takes a while. Yes. Right. When a day you, at a time. When did you feel that you really had the authority to write a book such as that? Well, the you write the book when they tell you to. I've never right. written any books but what they told me right. to write. But when did you yourself feel that you knew? Um, I suppose I began to realise that style was my mission when I was about 25, 25. to 30. Yes. But it took a long time to get it all together. Round off the rough edges. Yes. Yes. But yes. you have to reach the point where in your own eyes you're prepared for anything. Really? Even death. Yes. Yes. And then you're in the I've clear. been there. Oh good. <laughs> but I think I was a bit young. Oh. So I've got to grow up all over again and forget it all over again. And yes, start again true. all over again. <laughs> 
We're teasing Kaoki. We're telling him that Michael Alex's party has been canceled tonight. Let's get his reaction. This isn't really funny. It says right here Michael Alex. Now I don't go out and listen to Michael Alex party. I don't like it. I don't think it's a joke. Funny. Please. Hold, hold on, Kaoki. Michael Alex's party hasn't really been canceled. It's going to be here tonight after all. That's great. Terrific. Wait a minute. Aren't you Michael Alex? Yes, I, do. I am. The man with the drink tickets. Got too close. You put it on the nail. I often wonder about that. Yeah. Yes, before we knew how to extend our lives, before we knew about birth control, before we knew about any of this. Well, we know about not only how to extend our actual lives, we extend in a way our youth. And uh, we don't... And that's a big problem. I mean, we don't really look and so we're 20. Mm -hmm. But we don't feel we're already defeated by 30. But some people don't, but I think with or without medicine, people would think that way. Well, you know... Some you people can... are eternally young. Some people are eternally young. Some people are eternally old. Yes. Um, but you don't feel decay creeping up on you in quite the same way. Yes. Um, what about these people who, I know people in California who are 60 years old, who have had numerous facelifts, women who dress as though they are four years old, they have bows in their hair, they have mini skirts on, and they are parodies of humanity. You look at them and you think, you were a little girl, and you always will be a little girl. That's and right. it's a it's that's what happened it's to baby frightening. Jane. Exactly. And you were having impossible to I, adopt I find that a non-committal um, image. Yes. So that you aren't endeavouring to look young. And on the other hand, you aren't necessarily wearing a Falling bonnet apart at the with head beads on the front yes. of it. Um, I find that quite tragic. Yes. I do. I think both are both unpatching yes. to insist on being a practically a flapper. A little girl. A little girl. Yes. And on the other hand, to say, well, my life is over, I'm right. 40. Right, right. And those awful uh, moments when people say, how old do you think I am? <laughs> and then, what do you do? I mean, they're inviting you to behave badly. Exactly, yes. It's hideous. Is. Never, never seek affirmation from other people. No, no. That's the mistake. I think it's the death kiss if yeah. you get it as well. Yeah. Yes, yes. But Kate, this has nothing to do with you. Your friend may be right, but as far as you're concerned, it's a mess. Be yourself. Yes. Friendship consists of seeing people's problems from their point of view. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that only if you would say, I'm going for a job as a secretary, how do I look? <laughs> then I tell you, right. you won't get the job unless you do this uh, and the other. Uh -huh. But they uh, see uh, searches for reassurance. What do you think about Which I can't, me? yes. I, I don't understand that. What are you supposed to say? To me that does not mean friendship at all. No. Not at all. It drives me insane. Do you think he loves me? Oh, oh he's such a bastard, but I love him. The woman who asks me if I really love her mm -hmm. earns my undying hatred. Yes, yes. Uh, I'll drink to that. <laughs> Should I just yell? Yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm Michelangelo, Signorelli, and I don't like talking about myself. You know that. I told you that last week when the camera didn't work, but I do have my own cable show Monday nights, 11.30. You all watch me. You all love me. I have the whitest hair in the world. Isn't it gorgeous? Most blue eyes, and I'm an all-around great guy, but I don't like to talk about myself, so that's it. Arrivederci. Really? This is chalky, I think. Huh? This is chalky. There you are, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. You want this thing? Yeah. Yeah, come on. Say, take this water. Do some fooling with her. Barbara? Here she come, baby. You don't want it? Ah, oh, she tricked me. Okay. <laughs> she laughed. She got a trick now. I know. Well, the room is as beautiful as she is. He is at David. He's got the great round face. And you know how 
some men have names. And when you come see the Adam's mm -hmm. apple and mm -hmm. doors. Lovely. And jaws, and when you never yes. see the bone. Yes. Uh, kind of amazing yes. how Lovely. handsome he is. Mm -hmm. Like a New York policeman. The fireman. Oh, have aren't they just gorgeous? They have aren't they firemen the most beautiful men you've ever seen in your life? And there's a fire face. They all look They alike. are. They're great. The blue eyes. Blue Crystal eyes. Crystal clear blue No eyes. noses. Blonde hairdo. And this hair done like men. With great they are care fabulous. in spite fabulous. of the flames and the smoke. The smoke. Yes. Oh, they are gorgeous. Gorgeous As men. Chloe would have said, through the smoke and flame. <laughs> <laughs> through a dark glass. It was like 74 or something like that. Yes. And we saw you and she stuck up her hand and she asked the question and I was in the cemetery. Oh, no. Absolutely. I don't know why you were my heroine or my hero. And tonight. Being a woman and all, but you were. Oh, yes, I'm sexless. Yes, yes, yes. I think I am. <laughs> it seems a lot of bother. Yes. Be androgynous. Yes. Ah! The first thing she said was, this evening we have with us Mr. Chris who has opinions about everything. What do you think about sex? And I said, it's a mistake. Yes, I agree with that. It was a wonder. I agree with that. Michelangelo, this is Mr. Chris. Hello. Hello. Chris. Oh, no, no. Nice to meet you. And Michelangelo, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Michelangelo has a, a cable show himself. Really? When is that on? Monday night, 11:30 channel D. Which night? Monday night, 11:30 channel D. And what is it called? Tomorrow's television tonight. Really? Mm -hmm. I have not seen it yet. Oh boy. It's an excellent program. Yeah. Uh, now I'm going on the magazine. show here tonight too. Yeah. Yeah. I did last week. When when does the show here begin? Very strongly, very smooth. I was just doing those so pop the only, the only those problem is, is, the only problem is, is the only problem 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 is the um, 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 Eddie, I want to get this, this is a toilet, I want to get the sound of the toilet flushing as we're doing the commercial. Okay. okay so make sure there's lots of toilets flushing. Go ahead, See that, we're... After sound flush when she needs it. Well, you should go do the others, maybe, Eddie. You have to, you have to like, do it as we're doing the commercial, okay, Eddie? Okay, oh, okay. you want me to get all the stalls? Right when I Why say hi, I'm like, let me get all the stalls and okay. do it. I'll, I'll start the other That's one. Good. Okay, you'll have to talk loud, but we're getting more light over here. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Hi, I'm Michael Alec, the new member of... Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Hi, I'm Mike Lalig, the new member of Kill Pig. And I'm Nizami. We're here to celebrate the release of our new record. You can buy this record at St. Mark's Sounds and Free Being Records, Tower, and wherever in the United States, Canada, and Europe. Now for an example of one of our tracks from the record. Thank you. Michael. Thank you. So how does it feel to be in a member of Kill Pig? Yes. Just fab. I don't want to be in Do you still leave everything piling up? Everything piles up. Yeah. I never do. Why is that? Well, is that a defect? Um, because I do that too, and I, I have guilt about uh, that. No, no, abandon your guilt. I am so you. Please do. I have dreadful guilt about that, and I do it. Can't. You see, that is the guilt that worries me about people. If they want to, and uh, their rooms to be tidy, that's fine. Just think, one day I'll be known to be the neatest woman in the world. Yeah. Then clean your apartment every day. Yes. If you want but to. don't do it for no reason. Right. You see, that's why I don't do it. I have no reason. You know, see, a woman w once said, I said, well, you don't need to dust the rails under the chairs every day. And she said, 
I know I don't, but if I don't do it, they horn to me. <laughs> now that's bad. Yes, it is. I know. It. I know. Do it if you like doing it. Yes. If you don't like doing it, don't do it. Yes. The first time anyone visits you, you apologize. I'm afraid my apartment is a mess. a mess. Is that what you do? Fantastic. Then never apologize again. Uh -huh. You yeah. can't apologize twice yeah. for the same thing. Because this is my problem. I let it pile up and I don't care. I will get into bed and no little voice will be saying, you didn't clean the dishes, go and do No way, that doesn't happen to me. I go to sleep, I'm fine. But then... We're talking about house prospect. Well, you got to see my house. house. This is something... Prospect of guests. And no. I go insane. No, I have to have new run. toilet rolls. You clean I, you the know. plate if you pass the fish barrier. What's that mean? Well, you see, when you, you're hungry, and you look at your plate and it says bacon, you think, I could eat an egg. Uh -oh. And the next day, when your plate says egg, you think, I could eat fish. But when you eat the fish, you have to wash the plate. Right. That's yeah. the only time. Yes. Yes. So, right. isn't that the Orthodox Jewish way of doing it? Yes. Oh, no. Meat doesn't touch the same dish that fish touches. I don't know, oh, fish don't. is just, fish gives off a very offensive after. Yeah. You can't eat on a fish plate, you can't eat anything no, else. Nothing. But it wait, about uh, on the housework thing, I have to say, my house is right now a masterpiece of horrible. Ma I, we don't even talk about cleaning it anymore. It's a masterpiece. You have to come with the camera. It's amazing. There are but things there I'm not like that. You see, I don't, I don't like to go to people's houses that are a mess. I like to go to oh. people's houses that are very nice. Oh, I don't mind the mess. I, I don't like it. I think it's very honest. Uh, <laughs> I'm sad. Squalor is my natural setting, and so I accept this absolutely. Yes. If people um, are shocked, I say, next time, perhaps you would rather I came to visit you. Uh -huh. Yes. I see, oh, yes. I see you're embarrassed. Yes. Uh, or if oh. you wish to come to see yes. me, wear your oldest clothes. Right, right, uh, okay, okay. I can accommodate right. anybody. See, yes, well, I can too. I've been to places that are very squalid, extreme. I mean, we're talking major squalor, and it doesn't offend me, and I live there, and I, I be there. Well, you live in there. And yet I think, oh, the plaza would be nice <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh, the, the plaza. I have been to the celebration for Mr. Thompson's 19th birthday at the plaza. At the plaza. <laughs> at the plaza. Splendor such as you have never known. And he's 90. And he's what um, little Abner would be called well put together. He knows what you're saying. He knows he doesn't say what, 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 what. He doesn't have to be helped up at that. He's 90. And when he was asked to make, everybody had made a speech a mile long. The show had been going on for three hours. And they said, and now Mr. Thompson. And he said, I can't make a speech. I'm too happy. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Absolutely wonderful.